Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Once Upon a Crescent, a collection of stories for young Muslim children. I am your author and storyteller, Mrs. Hashmi. This is season two, and for season two, I'm going to need my lovely listeners to really tap into their imagination. I'll be saying the story, but your imagination is what will bring it to life. Today's story is called Amani and Aya's Merciful Deed. The smell of delicious biryani filled the air at the Faruqi home. Mama's oven timer went off, and she opened up the door of the oven to place the large tray of biryani on top of the stove. She peeled back the foil and <laughs> sniffed the aroma of meat, rice, and spices so amazingly blended together. <sighs> The girls came running into the kitchen. <laughs> Mama, you made biryani? Is today Eid? Is someone coming to our house? Aya asked. Mama, is this for a party? Why'd you make biryani today? Amani questioned, looking at the large tray sitting in front of her. Mama raised her eyebrows. Oh, you girls act like I don't cook special things for the house. Yeah, you don't. Definitely not biryani randomly. Yeah, you don't, Mama. Definitely not biryani randomly. Aya said, echoing her big sister's exact words. Well, for your information, I made this tray of biryani for us and our neighbor, but mainly for our neighbor. Aww, I knew it. How come they get special treatment? I'm just glad we get to have the leftovers, Aya said. She was hovering over the tray of biryani, licking her lips. <sniffs> yes, yes, there's plenty of it to go around for everyone. I made a special dua before cooking that Allah put lots of baraka in this tray, so I'm sure it could feed everyone in our neighborhood. Okay, girls, I need you both to layer up and get your coats on because I need you to drop this off to Rashid Dada's house. He's home alone since his son and the kids went camping this weekend. Mama scooped a large serving of biryani and quickly filled two containers to the top. She pushed down the lids to seal this piping hot meal shut. Why is Rashid Dada all alone at the house? Why didn't his family take him camping too? Oh my Allah, so many questions from you girls. Rashid Dada is home alone because he can't go camping at his age. When you think about it, you wouldn't want him out there in the wilderness, right? Elderly people can't really do the same adventurous things as we can. Yeah, I definitely can't imagine him going hiking with his walker. But Mama, what if Rashid Dada doesn't even like the biryani? Well, I'm not doing it for his 5-star ratings and reviews. I'm sending biryani because this is a way to show mercy towards those that are less able than us. So you all go get ready to go, okay? Enough questions for now. Aya dragged her feet and went towards the door. She grumbled and mumbled under her breath. Aww, I wish he could just come pick it up. My stomach is grumbling. It really wants to eat now. Mama, do you hear my stomach and my and my tummy grumble? Look, listen. Grr, 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 Aya said, making up her own sound effects. Amani laughed at her little sister's dramatic tone. And so did Mama. <laughs> okay, wait right here, Aya. Mama disappeared into the kitchen. Mama came back with a big spoon full of rice and meat. She kneeled down and fed her daughter lovingly. Mm. Aya cheerfully gulped down her bite. Mama continued, Aya and Amani, I want you guys to just think about one little thing while you're walking over to Rashid Dada's house. For an old man, it takes way more energy and time to do what you guys are doing now. You putting on your winter gear and walking to his house 
doesn't make your muscles feel weaker or your body slower. But to Rashid Dada, because of his age, it is a huge task getting out of bed, putting on clothes, and walking outside in the winter time. You know, it's kind of like if I told you to go to the grocery store that's outside of the neighborhood. Aya was stunned. She looked at Mama and said, Mama, that's like five miles away. Exactly. Our house may feel like that to Rashid Dada. So let's be merciful. And when we deliver this food to him, we will think to ourselves, we want Allah to be merciful to us if we were ever in need of help and caring, okay? The girls nodded. They exited the house with two containers filled with fresh hot biryani and recited their dua as they exited the door. بسم الله توكلت على الله لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله. Aya and Amani held on to the containers and walked to the end of their street to ring the doorbell of Rashid Dada's house. They both shivered as they waited and waited for Rashid Dada to come to the door. Maybe he's in the bathroom, Aya. We should just go. Aya and Amani turned their backs towards the door and decided to leave the doorstep. But just as they were stepping down to the sidewalk, they heard the locks at the door click and rattle. An elderly man with very little hair on his head peered through his thick glasses and said, Oh, assalamu alaikum. I know what these containers mean. Wow, I don't believe this at all. I was wondering what to make myself for dinner. I actually ran out of food yesterday. I was going to eat cereal for dinner, so I just made dua to Allah, asking Allah to send down his mercy to my doorstep. Rashid Dada was amazed at how the girls were standing before him. He inched closer to the girls to take their containers. Funny thing is, I said out loud, Oh, Allah, send down mercy unto me to make my day easier. (laughs) And here you girls are the answer to my prayers. Alhamdulillah. The girls stood there shivering and politely smiling at Rashid Dada. But secretly, they were wondering when they could zip back home to their hot yummy biryani. Can you girls wait uh, one minute? Amani, do you think it would be rude if we just ran back home right now to go eat and and quickly came back to see if he's here yet? He's taking a really long time, Amani. Do you hear my tummy? Listen, gur, gur, gur. And look, listen, gur, gur, gur. That means I'm hungry, Amani. I think we should go. Amani laughed at her little sister's tummy sound effects. Aya, we have to show mercy, remember? He probably is taking a long time because his legs and body don't move the same way ours do. Rashid Dada was grunting as he creaked open the door wide and asked, Uh, Can you do me a favor and take this box of biscuits to my neighbor friend? He lives just three houses down. It's just too cold out there and you guys are already all bundled up. Rashid Dada stated as he pointed towards the direction of Amani and Aya's home. I would be so thankful if you could stop at his house on your way home. Rashid Dada carefully handed the girls a tin box of biscuits to deliver. Okay, Rashid Dada, we'll deliver these to your friend. Amani stared at Rashid Dada's wrinkled hands and hunched body. Amani reached out with her ice pop hands and took the box to take to Rashid Dada's neighbor friend. The girls zipped down the street as fast as they could and they went three houses down. They jumped to the doorstep and rang the doorbell. Another elderly man, who was Rashid Dada's neighbor friend, answered the door. Assalamu alaikum, beta. Is this biscuit box for me? Oh, walaikum assalam, uncle. Yes, Rashid Dada wanted us to drop this off to you. Here it is. Oh, okay. 
Jazakallah khair for the special delivery. It was so kind of you girls to do that. May Allah reward your mercy and show you mercy in special ways. Ameen. Aya handed him the box of biscuits. Mam and Uncle had such a childlike grin on his face. He was closing the door behind him when he cheerfully stated, How perfect! I just made my afternoon chai too. This is going to go great with my tea. <laughs> the girls giggled at Mam and Uncle's excitement. Aya turned to her sister and said through her teeth chattering, <sighs> Chai sure sounds nice and warm right now, right, Amani? <laughs> Amani nodded and added, Hmm, I prefer hot cocoa, though. They hopped along to their home quickly. The cold wind hit their bare face. Their teeth started to chatter. When they finally got home, Amani and Aya swung open their front door. We're home, Mama. Amani called out playfully. The girls yanked off their coats and quickly hung their scarves and sweaters on the rack. After washing their hands, the girls sat at the table ready to enjoy their fresh meal of biryani. But the girls noticed that their mama was nowhere to be found in the kitchen. Hmm? Where did mama go? Amani called out to her mom. Mama? Mama appeared behind them with a blanket that came straight from the dryer, all toasty and warm. She smiled at them as she wrapped the girls in this cozy blanket. That took you girls all over ten minutes. I put this blanket in the dryer as soon as you left to heat it up for you both. This is so that you can get warm. I'll bring the food. It's still piping hot and fresh. Aya and Amani recited their dua before digging in. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Oh, the girls enjoyed every bite of their mama's fresh, delicious biryani. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Mama got up from her seat after she saw that the girls were done. She opened up the microwave and brought forward two special mugs. Just then, the air filled with the scent of Nutella chocolate. Mama dropped down three large marshmallows in the mug and handed the girls their very own hot cocoa. Amani and Aya were speechless. They stared at this unexpected treat and Aya squealed. Eee, Mama, you're being extra nice today. Yeah, I guess I am. Something in my heart sparked to show you a special kind of mercy, Mama replied. Amani gasped. Hey, that was Mam and Uncle's dua for us. Oh yeah, Amani, you're right. He did make a dua for us. I remember, he said. May Allah reward your mercy and show you mercy in special ways. I love that you girls are getting du'as from elderly people, but I have a question. Mama raised her eyebrows. Wait, Mam and Uncle, that's not the right person. You were supposed to deliver it to Rashid Dada. What's going on here? Mama asked. No, 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 Mama, I'll tell you what happened. The girls cozied closer next to their Mama with their hot drinks and their warm blanket. Amani and Aya could feel that this small but perfect moment here was a special kind of mercy from Allah. Isn't it amazing how Allah can show us His mercy in little but simple ways throughout our day? Allah is super merciful in our day. Jazakallah khair everyone for your time and support. If you've enjoyed this story, please subscribe and feel free to share with other families and friends to help spread the word about this podcast.